Yeah, um, Cordell said, so, um, "How tough was it, uh, you know, being out for four weeks there and, and watch your team go out and fight?" Uh, I mean, of course it was tough, but man, they they held their own, you know. And running backs we got in that room, man, they they take good pride in when the opportunity to come in. They showed those four weeks. They did what they supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Do you feel at this point like you could play Sunday? Is that are you there at that already? Or honestly, I'm just taking it a day at a time. You know, just just trying to get back healthy. You know, being out there today was a plus. You know, moving in the right direction, no setbacks. So we'll see when Sunday comes. See how I feel. You were running and posting video of it. Which Arthur had fun with. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, we, was that you just kind of trying to show people, like, or was, it, was that you kind of saying, "Look, I'm I'm ready to go." One. I just try to get the fans what they want to see, man. You know, I was missing for a couple of weeks. I know the fans missed me on Twitter and stuff, so I just had to post a video and show them what I was up to. How when you were when you were out there today? How close did you feel to where to yourself? I guess. Ah. Uh, I say about ninety percent. You know, I mean, at, at this point in time, you know, nobody, nobody's a hundred percent. You know, when we're week nine, I mean, nobody gonna feel a hundred percent. So, feeling that ninety percent right now, I feel pretty good. Watching Caleb and uh, Tyler take over back there, and uh, even a little bit from Avery, how did the committee do in your absence? Man, like I said, the next man up. You know, that's what it is, and they did a heck of a job. You know, and you know, this week if I can't go, they they still gonna keep doing what they supposed to do, and. Until I'm back, you know, and when I'm back, you know, they still gonna they gonna shine, you know. I'm not coming and step on nobody's toes, you know. And this is our team, you know, and, and the, the team comes first. So whenever coach need me out there, I'll be ready. Steve, for you as as competitive as you are, what were these last few weeks like? Having to sit there and watch on the sidelines, <laughs> are you even more motivated now going back? Oh, it was tough, but you know, I'm, I'm a team player first. You know, I, I love to have fun, just being out there on the field. But you know, some things is out of my control, you know, and I just got to control what I can control and. And like I say, T.A., you know, Avery and, and, and Caleb, they did a heck of a job. You know, I, I couldn't be more proud of those guys, you know, just, just showing the world what they can do. From your perspective on the sideline on Sunday, what were the emotions like for you? Man, I didn't been there before. You know, I'd, I played uh, in New England. We played Miami in Miami, and, you know, they, they beat us on the last last second play. But, you know, and like I said, I didn't seen a lot of stuff in this league, and, and you know, nothing don't surprise me anymore. And, you know, you just got to keep fingers crossed and just keep praying and whatever happens, happens. Typically for you at this point in the season, like you said, 90%, where are you typically in comparison to maybe now? <laughs> Honestly, man, I, I feel good. You know, like yeah. I said, I'm just taking a day at a time. And, you know, when Sunday comes, we'll see. You know, I, I'm not in a rush to get back out there. You know, I know a lot of fans is to see me out there play. But, you know, and I just got to just focus on me, man, my conditioning. You know, if I do play, you know how well conditioned I am and all that stuff. So it's going to be a lot to factor, so we'll see. What exactly happened with the knee? Just got a little banged up, man, and, you know, just had to get had to get some work done. That was it. Not to take been outspoken. From... You've been outspoken in your support of Calvin throughout his process. What was yesterday like for you? Was that tough, or were you <laughs> happy to see him get a nut fresh start? Man, see, I wore a shirt and told him to free him, then we traded him. So <laughs> that's probably what's on me. I shouldn't have worn that shirt. <laughs> but it is, it is what it is, man. You know, any of my teammates, ex-teammates, no matter – I'm going to support, you know, no matter what. That's just the kind of guy. I'm going to show my support. I want him here. And I know every guy uh, that I'm going to reach out to, I know they can help us win. So it's not no shade to any of my teammates and anything like, anything like that. I just, just want to win. And, you know, I just support all the guys I play with and former teammates or whatever. Did you talk to him? I didn't. Text him? I did. <laughs> did. Did he seem sort of happy to have a fresh start? I, I, I didn't talk to him, so I, I really don't know. Did you talk to him before the trade, at, when you wore the shirt? I talked to him before that, but I, I haven't talked to him yet. I know his phone blowing up and stuff, so I just – when stuff like that happens, you got to get guys, you know, time to just settle down because so many people reaching out each and every way. So, you know, I just got to wait a couple of days and then reach out to him. What, what was his reaction to you wearing that? Because that was probably among the more vocal pieces of support that he's had in the last year. I mean, he – I mean, we'd be talking on social media. He, he knows my support for him. He know how – how much I feel about him, you know, and all my teammates. You know, I'm I'm always support you, no matter what. Like I said, ex teammates, no former teammates, whatever. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna go for bat for you. Big Just game for Tennessee clear. on Saturday, obviously. <laughs> what are you thinking about your balls? Who we play? Georgia. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> nah, it's a it's gonna be a good game, man. I'm, I'm excited. I wish I could be there, but you know, we, I got a game. I'm still to focus on myself. <laughs> <laughs>
I was, I wasn't in focus. I was I was worried about the Chargers. I went right about what Tennessee was playing. So you mean none of the Bulldogs have talked trash to you yet? I know they have. They know what's up. <laughs> they they've been not starting no, nothing. Are, are, I ain't saying nothing after over, the game. Are overall bets already in place? No, no, no. I don't make bets. Are overall wa friendly wagers in place? I don't make any bets. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a betting guy. I would never do that. Uh, what did you miss the most just in this time not being able to play? What did you miss about being out here with your teammates? Just being in this locker room. Just just. Everybody, man, just just to see these guys, man. Uh, you know, sometimes I get sick of seeing them each and every day. That's why I like to get away. But you know, it was hard being away so long, and you know, I'm just I'm glad to be back. You know, see all these these smiling faces in here, and everybody working, man. I just feel like nobody missed the beat since I left, and everybody just hungry, just ready to get it. Just when you go in there, like a coaching, I don't know, role, like helping those guys. <laughs> do you think you caught a bug maybe like later on in life you'd want to be a coach? I would never be a coach in this league. <laughs> I, I'm gonna say that I, I wouldn't coach past high school, but. Only just for my kids. Anything else, I would I would never coach. It's it's too much. They people don't see the hours and everything those coaches do, and just everybody in this whole organization, to the, the staff, you know, the training staff, the people in the, the, the uh, people who feed us, and just everything, man. Just too many people. They they work too hard, too many hours. They be here before us and leave after us. So. I would never want to be do what they do. When just you go into the locker room and you hear the outpouring of support from your teammates, obviously they were all cheering and stuff. You know, what is that like for you? They're just joking. Run some knuckleheads in that locker room now. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. But, but like I said, I, I miss those guys. You know, I'm, I'm glad to be back. And hopefully, you know, I feel 100% when come Sunday and I can get off, get off and you know, just, just get going. What How do you think this offense changes? It won't change nothing. <laughs> I mean, the guys did what I was doing, you know, running the ball. and. You know, like I say, you know, Caleb Huntley had a career day last week. You know, he had 91 rushing yards. And that's just something to see with those guys, man. And, you know, see Tyler score a receiving touchdown, his slow sell. So, but <laughs> those guys, man, they, they just hungry, man. They, they focus and they just going in the right direction. I couldn't ask for nothing more for those guys. What will make you feel 100%? Like, what do you think is going to, what do you need to see from yourself to make you feel like you're back? We'll see Saturday, right before the game, see how I feel. And hopefully I'll be, <laughs> hopefully I'll be ready. But, like I said, I'm going in the right direction right now, you know, and no setbacks as far. So, does, does the fact that there's a short week after this going into Carolina, sometimes for players that ends up being part of the conversation with when you come back, does that weigh into it at all? It don't, man. Like I said, I'm, I'm excited to be out there, but, you know, it, health comes first. You know, I know a lot of fans been hitting me up on Twitter and Instagram talking about football, but, you know, <laughs> it's all about my health first, man, you know. No fans never hit you up, see how you're doing. They just want to worry about their fantasy. So I appreciate I appreciate they hit me up asking how I'm doing, but they don't. They just run about their fantasy points and stuff. But like I said, health comes first, man. And at the end of the day, as long as I'm healthy, I'll be out there on the field. Hey, while you were out also, Demir Bird's been able to catch some deep balls. What does that say? What, what does that component, that dimension add to the to the offensive attack? I know Bird, he's happy, man. That's that's what they brought him in for. You know, he, he's been doing his whole career. And, you know, just happy for that guy. You know, he just he can just take the top off of any defense, and you know, it's just gonna open up some short things for a lot of guys. You know, OZ, you know, Cal, just just everybody, man. Everybody's hungry. Everybody excited. You know, a lot of people already doubted us out. Say we only gonna win two wins this year, so we got four. So we got a lot of football left. Just to be clear, with the free Calvin Ridley shirt, this was not the outcome that you had wanted. And what? Him being traded versus. Who Calvin? Yeah. Oh, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> just want to be clear. I just mean, make it your own. I mean, he's one of the best in the league, I mean, if not the best. You know, that's just my opinion. You know, we all have our own opinion to speak freely. And, you know, I just feel like he's he's one of the best, you know, and what he brings to our offense, you know, in Jacksonville. Hey. Anything else? I'd like you to have him. <laughs> For the record, how many overalls do you have? Zero. What are you doing after the crazy win and uh, getting that W to move forward here? I mean, it's good. You know, we, we got to go one and every week. But, I mean, it's always good to, to come back in the locker room after a win, especially when it's a hard-fought game like that. So, uh, you know, morale's up, and we're just ready to get right after this next one. What would be some of the um, key points for the Chargers, for the whole defense? Uh, you know, I know Perfect likes to throw. You probably want to get after him a little bit. Yeah, I mean, this team, you know, they pass the ball a ton, so they're going to try to spread us out. And we're anticipating that. We're anticipating the same scene, kind of what Cincinnati did to us. So, um, just, you know, we got to be physical. We'll try to be physical. We'll try to make it uh, in the box game. But when they start spreading us out, you know, we got to just make sure that we stay at our physicality. Okay. And um, uh, Keenan's been out. But he came back for the last game. He's the older guy, but he still looks like he can 
him and Mike Williams are pretty formidable. Yeah, I mean, he's an elite receiver. So anytime you got an elite receiver, obviously we got some things that we're going to do, you know, try to contain him and stuff like that. But we know what kind of game this is going to be, so we're going to try to make it our game. We're going to try to make it physical, but if they try to spread us out, we got to adapt. Michael, we've talked all season long about how a lot of people count out the Falcons and underestimate you guys. Now you're leading the division. How do you make sure that doesn't really be the focus and you guys keep going? I mean, we just trying to go one another every week. I mean, just like they had us win two games or whatever. I mean, at the end of the day, they still got to beat us. We got to beat them. So we don't really take too much into that. We just want to win and try to make playoffs. What is it about this team that you think maybe people underestimate so much? Honestly, I have no idea. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> it can go into contracts or whatever. I don't get into all that. I just play. I see these guys, we got a lot of talent in this locker room. So I don't know where the analysis think. I just know we, we come here, we play hard, we never give up. Have you seen your group, the linebackers, really evolve throughout the season so far? Yeah, I mean, we're still learning. You know, we still make some mistakes out there, leaving some plays we can make out there. But at the end of the day, every week we're getting better. So uh, we just got to stay the course and, and keep going. I know you guys have talked about Carolina at this point, but the emotions of that game, how do you just get rid of that and really not focus on it anymore? I know it took a lot out of everybody. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I just got to go one and out. I mean, right now we're in first place, so our message is the coach been saying, don't look back. So stay in first place and just keep winning. Hey, it uh, looks like the locker room got a little lift today with the return of uh, 84. <laughs> Were y'all pretty excited to see him back out there? Yeah, I mean, you know, CP, I mean, you know, that's our guy. So anytime you get a guy who comes back, um, we're all excited for him. We know what kind of the run offense has been taking off. So, I mean, when you add that piece to it, I think it's going to be a good situation for us. With the trade, forgive me if you've already been asked, with the trade of Calvin, I know he hadn't been around for a while, but how, is that significant to y'all just because it's the end of that chapter? Yeah, I mean, the guys who've been here, you know, Red, I mean, I think he's a hell of a player, elite, elite receiver, so yeah. obviously the guys who've been here, we have to actually see him play. We know it's going to be a little blow to us, but like I said, we got to just keep going. I mean, we got something good coming here, so right. just keep going. I'm good, thanks. How you guys doing? Good. Specific reasoning behind that? Nah, nah, not really. Just the ebb and flow of the game. You know, we, we had plans of getting him in there and doing some stuff with him. So we got him in a few snaps. But the ebb and flow of the game, you know, didn't call for it. You know, um, it'll be that way kind of going forward, you know, when we have a plan for him. And, you know, if the game situation calls for it, he'll, he'll go out there. Obviously, he's young, but his, his speed is, is remarkable. Y'all knew he was fast, but when you can get him going in a straight line, it's something to see. How much do you spend trying to? Get him in those situations where he can doesn't have to think it as much and can just <laughs> run. Yeah, um, well, yeah, that's why we brought him in because he is a big guy that can run, and we do try to find situations to get him out there and kind of free him up, let him run around, go make plays and whatnot. But you know, he's got to know the bulk of the defense, so you know, we're not concerned about those things that that he knows or not. It's just that we have two guys out in front of him that are doing a good job. So when his op opportunities come, you know, he gets out there and he's been doing a good job for us. How is his knowledge? And to what you would expect it to be a third of the way through his rookie year? I, I think it's incredible. Uh, the guy's a really, really sharp football player. Um, you know, the thing he needs is just time on test. He needs reps. Yeah. He needs reps, reps, reps. And he's getting those reps, you know, through practice and, and, and you know, uh, sometimes in the game. But he understands. He gets a grasp of it. Now it's just that he's got to go physically do it. What's been the key to his development, a quick, fast development? Um, sharp kid. He, 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 he gets what we're saying. He understands it. He's played a lot of different positions, so he has a natural feel for football and, and all the things that go along with it. Now it's just about you know having his quote unquote feet in the technique and getting reps on you know on the on, you know at practice in the game and and gaining confidence. And in the room, how have the veterans helped him, Rashawn and Michael? Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, you know they they just keep you know kind of telling the kid that you know your time will come you know. Just when, when, they, when they call you, just make sure you're ready to go. They talk about different situations in, in games and how to handle you know, certain guys, certain schemes and whatnot. They kind of bring them along that way. And you know, they can see the progress at practice and they see some of the flashes in games. So we, we got a good group. We got a good, good energy in that room right now. So they take care of each other. Does Rashawn's relative experience in this scheme allow y'all to get Troy more practice snaps than you would otherwise? Well, you know, that's – well, not not really. You know, Rashawn, you know, just like all players, they all need reps, you know, of, of course. But because he has been around, we we are able to kind of move Michael around and then add Troy to the mix and, you know, kind of get a three-man rotation and every once in a while a four with Nick out there. And so, you know, Rashawn's experience allows us to do some things to kind of get other guys ready. And, and you know, conversely, it helps Troy a little bit as well. Anything else? Ooh, um, 
he, he's doing a great job. Like, every time I see him, he scores a touchdown. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, um, you know, we knew uh, when Lorenzo came in that he was, you know, kind of a talented young football player that, you know, had you know, spent his time at the Giants and he was still developing. And, you know, I think what we see now is a kid that's developing confidence. You know, he goes out, he, he makes plays, he's confident. He's a great teammate, probably one of the better people you want to meet. And uh, he's, you know, all those things are starting to, you know, come to fruition and, and he's doing a good job for us. Aside from obviously the touchdowns that you mentioned mm -hmm. at the beginning, what's the biggest standout thing when it comes to his athleticism on the field? Uh, he's just a big, tall guy with long arms that he eats up a lot of space and takes up a lot of room and he makes plays. So, you know, I'm glad we have him. <laughs> Coach Venture, Mike Rashad, what has he uh, brought to the unit through eight games? Um, you know, first things first, you know, Rashawn's kind of a, an aggressive, kind of gritty guy, so he's brought that to the room. Um, he's kind of a throwback linebacker in the sense of, you know, his first option is to hit, and then his second option is to hit, and maybe the third one as well. But, but um, he's brought that grittiness, and I think we needed it, you know. Um, um, you know, with Michael kind of moving from one position to the next position and adding all the rookies in the room, you know, you kind of need a veteran guy that still kind of has some throwback mentality that, that wants to go bang around, and then that's what linebackers do. And, you know, he's, he kind of embraces that role. He likes doing it, and the other guys see it, and they try to, you know, emulate that. And the rookie, uh, Landman, how's he coming along? Nate's doing a great job. You know, obviously, he, he, he kind of a, a wild card. He made the team. He made the team because he, he worked at it. You know, he earned his stripes and, and did the things he was supposed to do to earn his way on the football team. And he, he dressed and played for us some earlier because, you know, quite frankly, the kid's very instinctive. Um, he knows where he is in space is what I like to say. So he keeps himself out of harm's way. And, he, you know, he's always clean with his assignments. And, and he makes a play or two when he's out there. So we like him. We like him a lot. You know, we think the whole group is doing a good job and, and you know, progressing well. And you just got Edwards back. Uh, he's, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So we brought we brought Dorian back. You know, obviously, you know, he got nicked up right at the end of the preseason. He was trending the right way, and you know, we were hoping to get him back, and nobody else was signing. We got him back, and now we just got to get him back in the fold, back into doing the things he was doing it, and he was, you know, getting better every day. So, you know, hopefully, he can keep trending and do that, and, and we have a young linebacker group that you know that we can kind of throw in and, and do some different things with.